Leukemia in Children and Teens The Human Body The body is made up of many billions of cells and, when they are grouped together, they form organs like the heart and lungs. Each cell has a job to do in the body. For example, one type of cell may help the body fight infections or to carry oxygen in the blood. Cells grow, divide to form new cells, then die. What happens when someone has leukemia? In some people, certain cells will start to act differently and become unhealthy. Unlike healthy cells, these unhealthy cells will not multiply or die in the normal way. When this happens, we find disease cells called cancer cells in the body. These cancer cells grow more quickly than healthy ones. That is how cancer forms. Leukemia is a form of blood cancer. It develops when cancer cells build up in someone's bone marrow and blood. Bone marrow is found at the center of bones where blood cells are made. There are two types of leukemia in children and teens. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia, also called ALL, and acute myeloid leukemia, also called AML. Both acute lymphoblastic leukemia and acute myeloid leukemia are cancers that grow really fast if they're not treated right away after they're found. The symptoms of leukemia. When there are many cancer cells in the body, there are not enough healthy cells to do their job properly. That is when signs of leukemia start to show. Symptoms for ALL and AML are different from one person to the other. Most of these signs are often like signs that we see with less serious diseases. Here are some examples. Body aches, for example, in the arms, legs, knees, or back. Unexplained bruising, bruises suddenly appearing on the body. Pale skin, tiny red spots under the skin called petechiae, mild fever that doesn't go away, weight loss, a lot of bleeding from minor cuts, and feeling tired, a lack of energy, and shortness of breath during normal physical activity. Diagnosing leukemia. Since leukemia is a cancer of the blood and bone marrow, a blood and bone marrow sample is taken to help doctors find out what type of cells are diseased and where they are located. These tests make it possible to identify the type of disease. That is what we call a diagnosis. To confirm an ALL or AML diagnosis, a medical team will normally take blood samples, take a bone marrow sample, Take a tiny sample of bone containing bone marrow cells. Once a leukemia diagnosis is made, it is important to start treatment as soon as possible. A special medical team will choose the best leukemia treatment. Children and their parents should discuss this treatment with their doctor. Asking questions is important for understanding the different treatments that are available and their effects. Treatments for both ALL and AML can be divided into three steps. Induction treatment, consolidation treatment, maintenance treatment. Called induction treatment, this first step of chemotherapy uses powerful drugs. The induction treatment kills as many cancer cells as possible so that there is a normal amount of white cells, red cells, and platelets once again. The induction treatment usually lasts from four to six weeks. The patient will probably spend most of that time in the hospital. Sometimes the treatment must be given more than once before all the cancer cells are destroyed. The drugs used may have unwanted effects called side effects. Everyone reacts differently to treatments and certain people may experience no side effects whatsoever. There are ways to reduce or stop some of these effects. Possible side effects include mouth sores, diarrhea, rashes, skin redness, dryness or itching, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, a higher risk of skin, nose and mouth infections, 
and hair loss, but hair will grow back normally after the treatment. Losing hair is painless and it may be a bit different when it grows back. For most patients, the side effects of treatments will lessen or go away completely once treatment ends. Once the induction treatment is over, the two other treatment steps begin. They are called consolidation treatment and maintenance treatment. Their purpose is to stop the cancer from coming back. The consolidation treatment is usually given in four to six month cycles. If chemotherapy is given intravenously, that is through the veins, the treatment takes place in the hospital, but the patient returns home once the treatment is complete. If the chemotherapy is to be taken orally, that is by mouth, the patient can stay home during the treatment. The maintenance treatment often involves drugs to be taken orally at home. For children and teens, the maintenance treatment usually lasts between two and three years. Normally during this time, patients can lead a normal life and return to school, but extra care must be taken since they have a slightly higher risk of catching an infection such as a cold. Leukemia in children. In Canada, some 300 children are diagnosed with leukemia each year, which represents a third of cancers in children from the ages of 0 to 14 in the country. Leukemia is the most common type of cancer in children 0 to 14. Among children with leukemia, 3 out of 4 have ALL. ALL affects more boys than girls. AML is less common and usually affects more girls than boys. Leukemia is a serious disease, but over the past 20 years, more children are surviving this disease. After the right treatments, the majority of children with leukemia are cured. Leukemia in teens. Among teens and young adults 15 to 19 years of age, 400 cases of cancer are diagnosed each year in Canada, affecting more boys than girls. Among teens diagnosed with cancers each year, 12% are cases of leukemia. Young people with leukemia will most likely have to undergo long periods of treatment. However, most of them can hope to lead a normal and active life. Here are a few facts about leukemia. A leukemia diagnosis causes many strong emotions and that is completely normal. Sadness, fear, and anger are some of the feelings that may be experienced during those difficult times. People who have leukemia and their family will also have many questions about the disease. Here are a few answers that should help you understand leukemia better. Leukemia is not an inherited disease. In other words, parents do not pass it on to their children through their genes. It is rare that an affected child's siblings will also develop a pediatric cancer. Leukemia is not contagious. You cannot catch leukemia by being around someone who has the disease. We don't know what causes leukemia, so we cannot stop it from happening yet. Children and teens with a blood cancer are in no way responsible for getting their disease. Being sick is no fault of theirs. Leukemia is a serious disease that can cause death, but with the right treatments, the majority of young people will survive, return to school, go to university, work and lead full and active lives. Even when properly treated, leukemia can come back. This is what is called a relapse. Fortunately, relapses are rare in children and teens with leukemia. During the first phase of leukemia treatment, it is possible that a young person will need to stop school for a while. For some patients, it may be possible to be schooled at home or in the hospital during that time. As soon as their health allows, they can go back to school and lead a normal life with their friends. Teams of researchers from all over the world are looking for better treatments with fewer side effects. 
The families of children and teens who receive a leukemia diagnosis can count on healthcare professionals who will support them in their journey towards a cure. Thanks to this research, most children and teens affected by leukemia today are cured.